Boys can talk English. Yeah, and girls can talk normal. So what is normal, Kalil? Normal girls can talk normal. And boys can talk. So today, <laughs> we are going to register the kids for daycare. So my two, my son, my daughter, and my niece, Alberta just announced that they have $10 daycare, $10 per day daycare. So trying to get in on that. Why you need to walk with your purse? Oh, come on, let's go. Don't touch up with your hands, you don't have a Don't, let's go. Go on down. Just be careful. Come on, kiddo. Wow. They're just waiting on mom to get her wallet or something, I don't know. <laughs> we waited. So yeah, before they announced this $10 daycare, oh look, she's coming. Mom used to actually take care of the kids, um, but she's about to head back to Trinidad to conduct some business. And it's just become more financially viable to send all of the kids to daycare now that they have lowered the cost. The really interesting thing about today's journey is that we're gonna actually see if um, international students also qualify for this $10 daycare because my brother is here on a student visa and we're gonna to attempt to register his daughter under this $10 daycare system. Let's go. You ready, mommy? Yep. I'm ready. You ready? Yeah. Cool. Color, color. Wait, this is not his school yet. We come to register you. Yeah. So he took off his shoe, put it. <laughs> And while going in with the rest of the journey. So prior to COVID, my kids actually were in daycare since they were three months old. Because back in Trinidad, that was the time you had at home before your maternity leave ended. So my son was actually really excited to see school and to get back into school. This is like his norm prior to COVID. And he did not want to leave. He just went right ahead. He went for it. <laughs> so the daycare manager oh, came out. This is her here. And she actually gave us a tour of the facility. So let's go Hi. see all the rooms. <laughs> Hello, yeah. Hello. And that is our beautiful room, the three years old. Okay. You wanna come and see them? Yeah. Hi. Hello. Oh, so good. Yeah, so party train? No, not quite. This is the party train. They have and three years old. Okay. Okay. So it's just party train. She could be in here. This will be the room. Oh, okay. So. We have the play area. We have the learning area. Hello. Nice. Hi. All right. Yeah. And look at those things. They have things. We have four sets of twins here. Twins. Oh, four sets of twins. Oh, four sets of twins. <laughs> That's very unusual. Oh, baby room. Hi. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> baby room. See? Okay. <laughs> He's like, I'm not having it today. Okay. okay. Oh, big area. Yes, yeah, yeah. Nice. A lot of tables and things in the summertime. So this here is the price list um, of the prices that were there before COVID. Now, when I first got my kids into school here in Alberta, there was a subsidy that I could apply for. But now with this new $10 a day daycare, I'm not quite sure if the subsidy even still applies. But these were the prices that we would have paid before, guys. So <laughs> believe you and me when I say this $10 a day daycare has changed the game. I could actually now really afford to send my kids off to daycare. You want to play? We'll come back, okay? This is your new school. We'll come back, all right? Come on, let's go, baby. I don't want to go home. You don't want to go home? Yeah, so Carla is in the back there. A bit upset at us because he didn't want to leave. <laughs> we had to basically drag him out of the daycare. But basically, um, the daycare manager said, Yo! Yo! 
relax yourself, please. Thank you. Yeah, so basically she said that um, there hasn't, there's not a lot of clarity around how the subsidy is going to be applied. Um, so she's saying that it's either one or two options. Either they're going to apply the subsidy directly to what's a daycare. Um, and in that event, then we will just be paying the $10 a day. Or they're going to apply the subsidy towards the parents in that event the daycare fees stand just the same. And then it will be on the parents to now apply the daycare fee, the subsidy for themselves. She is not sure how they're gonna do it. Um, and she's not sure like exactly who qualifies and none of those things, which is it's a bit disappointing um, that there's not that much clarity, but it's only a couple of days now that they actually signed this agreement. So it's like, it's still taking its while to trickle down. Nonetheless, we registered all the kids to start in January, um, even though we are a bit uncertain if my brother will be able to qualify, but I'll definitely come back and give you all an update once we get that sorted out and once we get all of the information what i really like about this daycare is that the meals are included right so i wouldn't have to worry about like packing the kids lunch kits and stuff for school i still have to pack keisha's lunch kit because she's going to kindergarten right so the bus instead of picking up picking her up picking her up at home the bus will now come and pick her up from daycare carry her to kindergarten which is approximately four hours and then drop her back to dk so i'll be dropping all of the kids to dk in the morning and picking up all the kids to dk at night which works perfectly for me and then my oldest daughter will be leaving um going to kindergarten and coming back to dk so yeah i'll come back and definitely update you all once you get more information but the kids are registered and in january we fully expect all three of them to be enrolled in full-time dk